What's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. Almost the end of the week um, for most of us here. Don't know what I'll be end up doing this weekend, but I can tell you, live Friday night, basketball only for uh, whatnot. Probably about 30 to 40 items. It's already listed in there, so if you guys are interested in basketball, you can check it out. 7 p.m. Eastern. Then at 1 p.m. Eastern Sunday, we're going to try an all-hockey auction on whatnot. Followed up by the following Friday, 6.45 p.m., all baseball. Most have all the baseball listed. Probably by the time this video comes out, though, you guys will have all the baseball in there. Um, but moving on to the topic of today. Tops. Fanatics tops, we should say. Another blunder with sticker autos. As you guys can see, Mike Schmidt. That's definitely not Mike Schmidt's auto. Definitely not. I mean, at first I was like, is that George Brett or somebody? Because I was just picturing a G up there, and then I kind of realized that's not George Brett either. Lo and behold, some of you guys may have seen this, but it's Geraldo Perdomo auto. You guys can see the auto on the right-hand side there. So, tops, fanatics, fanatics tops, however you're addressing yourselves, you guys need to get your employees your quality controls head out of your rears. Better yet, just out of your asses. I'm just going to come out and say it. Get your head out of your asses. We're paying good top dollar for these products. And you're screwing them up by putting the wrong stickers on there. This has been going on now for the course of the last six months. Maybe a little bit longer. And it's just getting worse and worse by the moment. You all like our money. Put in your pockets, especially when them bonuses come around. But yet, we get poor quality across the board. Start looking into this stuff. This is one of the worst mistakes I've ever seen. I can understand the Max Muncy thing with another Max Muncy type deal. I got it. Both named Max Muncy. But now we're starting to just go ridiculous here. I mean, how hard is it when you look at the sticker sheet, it has the guy's name on it? Well, they at least used to back in the day when it was just tops and not fanatics tops. But you guys need to do something out there. You're going to start losing more and more customers, and we're just going to start opening up older stuff, or we're just going to let the guys break this stuff and go buy the cards we like, and hey, at least we'll know if we're going to get the right autograph on the card, you know? All right, guys, don't know if you guys seen this or not. Had to get a little venting out with it because it's just getting ridiculous with the amount of these sticker autos that are being placed wrong on wrong cards. It, it makes no sense other than the lack of care going on out there. You know, this is a hobby. I know some people it's a business. Some people like the flipping mentality. However you look at it. We exchange hard-earned money and this ain't like boxes back in the day and i'm not using 80s prices we'll even use like 2016 to 20 prices before the big boom that stuff was reasonably priced now it's still like double triple cost and we're getting crap like this out it's just disgusting to me let me know what you guys think in the comments i mean i know it might be a little harsh at times on this stuff but after seeing it over and over and over again you figure somebody out there fanatics tops would do the right thing and start using quality control. I mean, their employees are just blundering it all across the board and just making it look worse and worse and worse for them. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Have a good one. Catch y'all next one.